Well, hello and welcome back to this episode of the Law of Relevancy podcast. My name is Cord Zowen and I'm your host. And I'm also the CEO of Bakemore Pies, a full service advertising and marketing agency here in Tampa Bay. Today we have Thomas Clausen and Andrew Cho from Podium. Hi, Thomas. Hi, Andrew. Hello. Thanks so much for having us. We're incredibly excited to be here. Thank you, Gorge. Absolutely, Andrew. So anyhow, Podium is a, the leading tool when it comes to messaging, communications, review generation, and they're also a may, an emerging very powerful force in the mobile payments space. And uh, Podium is really the gold standard. Well, full transparency. Uh, this episode is not sponsored by Podium, but we do, however, partner with Podium. We love using them. We love partnering with gold standards. And so that's why we like having them on the our show here is because, you know, when you work with someone who's the true leader in a space, uh, it's nice to understand, like, what are those keys to success and where do they see the industry going? So without further ado, Thomas, Andrew, why don't you introduce yourselves? Yeah, great. I'll start. Um, Andrew's got uh, some more exciting things to say than me, but I, I do uh, the partner marketing here at Podium. So I'm a marketing manager, um, worked a lot in our with our manufacturing relationships in the automotive and HVAC space, and now am incredibly interested in helping agencies and marketers all across the world um, understand the value of texting, the power of mobile payments, and decide to work with Podium. That's awesome, Thomas. Andrew, tell us a little about your background. Yes, my name is Andrew Cho. I've been at Podium for about three years now uh, on the partnership side. So uh, my primary focus is working with bringing in new partners, uh, specifically a lot of ad advertising agencies and consultants to kind of bring, you know, show them what Podium can do for their clients and what we're doing in the industries that they're focused on of tr helping, trying to helping businesses power communication, uh, through Podium. And that's hopefully we can sh shed a little bit more light on how we're doing that today. That's fantastic. Well, thank you, Andrew. Well, you know, as mentioned before, one of the things we like to talk about here on the law of relevancy is, you know, what's happening now in the industry. We try to share advice and things that we're up to, to help, you know, our peers, sometimes even our competitors understand, you know, how everybody can be better. Um, Podium is really the leader, in my opinion, because of their understanding of the power of text messaging. In the consolidation of that communication channel, it can be extremely fragmented, right, guys? Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. I mean, great example. I had a friend recently try to purchase a vehicle, and right now, new car sales are hard to come by. So, you had a lot of people, uh, there's a lot of conversations going on. He had seven text messages from the business, different numbers, um, seven different phone numbers reach out to him. And so, just one example where, I mean, if I'm trying to get something done, I'd prefer to have one, maybe two if I have to. Yeah, well, um, I, I, you know, there's some really interesting figures out there. Um, you know, text as a channel, I remember when email was brand new, I would read every single email I got. Now I get hundreds and hundreds of emails. Where are we at with the text world in terms of the saturation and like the ability to actually reach somebody through a text message? Yeah, great question. And I can kind of give some lights on the some statistics there. And then if there's any extra insight, maybe Andrew can hop in. But I, text is still a phenomenal communication channel and largely because it's really respected and really private. So still like a 98% is still the average open rate on text message. Wow. So you know, it's, it's, that's much different than email and a business needs to have permission. There needs to be an opt-in. You can't just, you know, buy a list from somewhere and start texting it. That will get you in serious trouble, but 95% of texts are open within three minutes. So I sort of, once there's that, consent given, hey, we can have a conversation via text message. Phenomenal, phenomenal place to, to do business. And one thing that I think is super interesting is it's a 10x higher coupon redemption uh, through text than other types of coupons, including email and direct mail. So it's, it's a, a, a really effective way to reach someone and, and offer your services and offer maybe a deal on top of it. Well, that sounds like maybe the most effective way to reach somebody. 98% open rate. That's crazy. Yeah, it, it is. I mean, I, right. I, I don't, I, re I, I rarely delete a message, but I'll, I'll read everything. You know, you'll, you see it, you open it. Whereas as you said, email, right. A lot of times I click unread, skim, maybe some subject lines and send them to the trash. So 
Yeah, I hear you. So one of the things that, um, you know, that I really uh, like about the platform is that, you know, there's multiple different ways that people are going to communicate with a business, right? So it's pretty normal for you to try to message a business, especially if you have like a, a customer service issue or whatnot, where you might send them a message through their Facebook chat or Instagram chat, or maybe chat with them or send them an email through their support or on their website or whatnot. One of the things that I, I thought was really powerful about the platform is that you can consolidate all of those channels into one inbox that makes it really simple to respond back to somebody. And then not only that, but you can pass that conversation around to any number of people within your organization. You're not really limited by the number of people in your organization that can be connected to it. It's not like having a phone system where you're only limited to number of phones and number of lines and things like that. When, when you connect your organization to Podium, you have access to, you know, practically everyone in your organization could potentially use it. You already have your interface, potentially, whether it's your mobile or your desktop that you're using. And, and it scales extremely, extremely well in that respect. Yeah, I mean, Courts, I think where, where Podium is kind of meeting businesses is exactly how consumers, you know, general people are communicating these days, right? right. Um, just trying to have these businesses understand that these channels are available to them as well, right? Uh, most, most people rarely are going to communicate via email or even these days even make a phone call, right? It's, it's a lot of times is it's all being done through text message. Um, I think most people, if you ask them the question of, Hey, how many unread text messages do you do you have on your phone versus how many unread emails do you have on your phone? You know, I think it's going to be yeah. a very considerable difference. And I think a lot of businesses this day and age are starting to understand how many channels are available to them to communicate with their customers very easily and very freely with uh, through text messaging. And I think yeah, that's how you can really. I think you're right. I mean, when if even if I want to text with my 75 year old dad, if I want to communicate with him. Many times I'll text with them first. I'll text people to let them know like, hey, do you have five minutes or can you give me a call? And they know that it prepares them that I want to, you know, take more of their time. And with text, I can truly be multitasking and whatnot. And so I guess it's a very natural thing for businesses now to be able to use this. Absolutely. Another way to look at it as well is if you have, uh, you know, someone in your business that, you know, it's hard to carry on two phone conversations at the same time but you could easily manage three or four text conversations at the same time with different customers, right? It just, yes. because it's easily managed through our system, uh, you know, and it's just easily to monitor through text messaging. Yeah. Thomas, did you add, want to add anything else to that about the power of text? And yeah, I, I just, I love what you said there, like how you talk with your father, right? Like there's a, I think there's just, a business should think how I try to think as a business operator as well is, let me just market and communicate how I would. Clearly, I have preferences when a friend calls me. I'd rather, you know, when they send me a text beforehand, that helps me find time, helps me do things. If I'm scheduling with people, I'm using text message. So for the business owner to get in the shoes and say, hey, we've done things a certain way. We run a good business, but we can level this up by just <laughs> kind of living how, how you would personally. And the consumer's appreciation for that goes an incredibly long way. And that's seen in the results too. Like all that data we highlighted is simple because it's preferred. It's not, you know, the copy isn't 10 times better. It's just the, the delivery and yeah. it's underused by businesses. I think that's a, a huge opportunity to call out is, I mean, a fax machine is still a serious thing in a lot of businesses. And so is, you know, the, the phone tree and waiting and hold music and that's not pleasant experience for a consumer. No, it's not. It's absolutely not. And I think, I think what's really cool about it is that it can be super intimidating if you don't know where to start and you're a business owner trying to figure out how do I use text messaging as my business in my business. And many times what's happening is the employees are actually using their own personal cell phone and then you're losing track of, com of conversations, things might, that you might be liable for as a business are being said on personal cell phones. Right, mm -hmm. but if they're all controlled through a business texting system, then uh, then it can be you know much more a viable solution. But it's it's not complicated. Like like people get super intimidated with how complicated it could possibly be. Like to actually connect 
every single person in your business to your customers via text messaging. It's not that bad, right? Absolutely. I mean, that's the great thing with Podium is, you know, we can give you a singular platform where you, we can scale with your business wherever you, your business is at that, side, at that point in time, right? So yeah. whether it's a single location business or you have thousands of locations, Podium can kind of fit the need for, you know, what your business needs, uh, whether the size or not. Got it. And so, again, this is not a sponsored podcast by Podium. I love the tool. It's really, really powerful. Um, we've seen incredible results for our clients, but it is not. This Podium is not sponsoring this. This is something I'm putting together. And I want to talk to these guys because the tool is actually, um, you know, by far the gold standard in what they're trying to do. And, and really, Podium didn't get their start with reviews. It was, I mean, sorry, with text messaging. It wasn't it with uh, reviews. Yes, early on, Podium, uh, you know, Podium's been in business for about what, a little over five years, Thomas. Um, and, you know, in the infancy of our company, we were very much a review tool, um, you know, through text messaging. You know, that's what the platform was built on is to send review invites out via text, which, interesting enough, even uh, four years ago, that was kind of a new way to do that surprisingly. Um, and obviously we've built an extensive platform off of that kind of basis. Um, Tom, anything to add yeah. there? Yeah. I, I mean, right. Google reviews was the objective, which was new in itself. Like most businesses had just started thinking, how can I have a great review presence? And then on top of that, they said, okay, how are we delivering this message? Text seems to be effective to, for customers. And then when customers were trying to reply, and that was sort of going to nowhere. They realized, oh, the, 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 the desire of a customer to reply, when they get a text, they think they can text back right. and just interact with this business. And suddenly it became you know, managing interactions, managing messaging. And, we, and as a business, we were wise enough to zoom out a little bit and say, oh, wow, texting is the real power here. Not even as like the reviews are helpful, but it's a, right. it's a benefit of just communicating the way a customer wants to communicate. Is there something that's next for texting? Is there like the next text? Like, is there something out there on the horizon? I'd say that's a great question. I think messaging is a super effective way to communicate and it's going to be just different channels. So, you know, in, in Europe, WhatsApp is used way more than any telecom provider for messaging. Yeah. There could be a, a monumental change like that in North America, it would take, it would have to take some serious event, but I think messaging is the best platform. I think that's here to stay long-term and it's going to be staying up to date on different platforms. And it might be a certain industry operates in one, you know, maybe it ends up being okay. Facebook ads become the go-to way for a HVAC repair and supply company to reach people and they're not going to use a text message that much. They may, they may just live in Facebook Messenger. That's, that's one way to kind of think of that framework. But I think it's messaging's here to stay. And then as consumers and operators, you know, stay up to date on what platforms are important and make sure you can use them. Yeah, when I think about what, to me, what makes text very relevant is the fact that it's filtered. You know, to some extent, there's uh, laws and regulation around solicitation being text. Right. You mentioned earlier that you have to make sure that your clients can get in a lot of trouble if you basically spam via text, yeah. you know, so it's nice because when my phone dings or vibrates and I've got a new text message on there, I know that there's a probably an 80 percent chance it's something that's going to be relevant to me. Yeah. Right. So. So, you know, I think I think it's what I'd like to pivot to is. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of really powerful things. You mentioned that what you determined was is actually the core of that texting functionality. It's not just reviews that Podium was based off of and originally known for, right? So there's a number of things you can do via text. So tell me about payments via text. Like, how does that work? How does a business collect payments via text? I can start with the, 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 the high-level overview, and Andrew can provide detail. I mean, it's really as simple currently as sending a text message uh, in the platform that you can attach to send what I would call like an invoice. Um, 
it says the amount it's going to connect with Apple pay and Google pay. And so, you know, someone could see the text message. It'll say, Hey, thanks for your time at, with our business. This is the, the service we did. This is what you owe. Um, they can either insert a credit card via that link securely. You know, the worst thing someone could do is just text you their entire credit card number. That's not safe. It's not wise to do, you know, calling and asking someone to read it. Same. There's potential for problems there, but a secure protected link um, encrypted, like sending a collecting a payment that way on the customer. It's as easy. I've received through businesses, a link with a podium text and I use an, an iPhone. So I had Apple pay and I mean, in two buttons and with my face ID, I had, I had paid the business for the service they gave me. That's really fast and convenient. And, and right now, I mean, I guess the alternative is to have one of those. I think we've all seen those little uh, swipers. I think they're called square, you know, that, that hooks into your phone. And it sounds like you guys are coming up with your own technology to do something like that right now. Yeah, so the kind of the origination of our payment product, you know, something we were dabbling in, um, but obviously with what happened last year to the entire world with COVID, um, we kicked it into high gear and kind of met consumers where they wanted to be, right? And, and that was a touchless experience. Which was scattered. <laughs> yeah, just, uh, yeah, no in-person, no nothing like that, as we all know. And our uh, developers kicked it into high gear and we got this product uh, out where, you know, it's as simple as sending an invoice through your phone and you can pay with Apple Pay, Google Pay, your credit card, ACH. So just kind of meeting the consumers where they want to be met uh, with this simple product. And we've now evolved that into actual card readers that the launch went so well of, of yeah. providing this outlet where now you, if you'd like to through Podium, you can kind of power all your business transactions. And there's a lot of different ways that we can kind of close that loop on the ROI that that business would see by using multiple different Podium products, as well as obviously the, the payments product now. Yeah, that's that's really, really cool how that's, that's kind of coming along. I mean, it, it does seem like, text is a big part of how businesses are going to need to be able to communicate with their customers. I think I saw a, uh, a metric not too long ago that said that right now, I believe around 20% of businesses are able to have a conversation with their consumers. And I think by the end of next year, consumers are going to expect 75, 80% of the time to be able to have a conversation with people. Yeah. yeah I mean, I think you're seeing, go ahead, Thomas. Just, uh, another stat that's just on top of that is I think it was 70% of consumers said they'll want a lot of the pandemic friendly services post pandemic. And that's, that's going to be where they choose to keep doing business. Right? I never had my groceries delivered or walked up and put them in my car before, but I will use that service forever now. That was kind of nice. It, it became so convenient. And I think <laughs> For a lot of people, they say, you know, hey, what, you know, hey, I don't want to wait in the restaurant. I don't want to eat. And like, I, I like showing up and getting it done. And obviously some other people love to go wait or go through the store, whatever it is. But that, that optionality now is going to be a reason people choose certain businesses, which I think is um, like a, an incredible statistic and way to think about how fast things changed and why the customer is always right. That's a great phrase in business, but it's going to feel really true when people are saying, you know, I want to work with these people because I can transact mobile or it's more convenient. Can. Yeah. Convenience is huge. I want to say, I mean, I think, I think Google Chrome became like the preferred browser of choice because it loaded half a second faster than Firefox. You know, I mean, you've had millions of people switch browsers because it was just a split second faster. So, I mean, I think one of the things that uh, that you guys have shared, you know, there's that old saying, I'd rather be lucky than good, right? But it seems like you guys have been lucky and good at a lot of things. Are there any things that you guys have pivoted to or adjusted their podium um, over the last 12 months that you were just like, holy smokes, we, we just nailed that. Or like, man, we didn't expect that result. And, uh, and therefore have made a, made a quick change to make uh, your product better. Yeah, I would honestly say it is this payments product, Courts. Um, yeah. You know, again, um, it was something that was kind of on the roadmap uh, with Podium. Mm -hmm. and, you know, again, with what happened over the last year, 
if, of moving that product kind of to the forefront. I think it was amazing the numbers that we saw from companies that were like, I need this now. You know, I need to be able to transact with people, you know, touchlessly. And I think even the adoption rate and the transactions we've seen kind of push through our, that, that product, I think is now it's kind of put a forefront on that payments product to be one of the more important products in our lineup at this point. Yeah, it makes a ton of sense. I mean, I, when I think back to, you know, touchless in itself, I mean, what you guys have done is actually enabled, enabled all that. I know, and I think, I believe your uh, payments platform is built on top of uh, Stripe, correct? Yep. Yeah. So I, I can tell you a quick story about myself. Look, so when I was starting Bake More Pies uh, almost eight years ago now, one of the things that I was working with is one of my customers at a previous job was one of the largest payment processors in the entire world. And, you know, for accepting credit cards. And I was trying to, as a new media buying agency, work for work towards trying to find a solution to process credit cards. But I wasn't an established business. I was charging things like I was running thousands of dollars at once on a credit card. It's a very normal thing to do when you're a media buying company, right? And so that good friend of mine said, hey, dude, like the best I can do for you is 5%. But if you use this new service over here called Stripe, you could probably get 3%. And as long as you're not abusing it, like you'll keep it. And, you know, from what I understand, your rates are even better. So there's a good chance that customers out there and businesses that are trying to accept credit cards, if they work through the Podium platform, will get a better rate than they could ever get, you know, if they try to go direct. Sure, sure. I mean, the, the rates alone, just because of the, the type of the types of volume that we'll, that we're working with, yeah. but not alone just the payments product, right? Cords, it's it's kind of the whole, all encompassing, right? Is there's a lot of other companies you can see out there that kind of do pieces of what we do, and we yeah. try we try to consolidate all those services into one singular platform to make it very easy to use for a business owner and their staff, right? Is instead of going out and finding two or three different companies to do what one kind of podium account can do as far as text messaging, reviews, payments, feedback, you know, kind of internal communication, you know, that's kind of how, that's our pitch is, you know, we can kind of do it all for you in kind of one platform rather than having two or three different platforms to do that for you. Yeah, yeah. sure thing. Go ahead, Thomas, did you wanna say something? I just think similarly, <laughs> The, the breakthrough in my mind in the past 12 months alongside payments has been just what Andrew was saying there, that it all is really working together early on podium say, hey, you need reviews, we can do this for you. You know, you want to collect chat on your website and make it a text, we can do that. And now it's more, and I think this, this goes like, this isn't a podium pitch, but just find, a, find an operating system for your business where you can if you can take payments, communicate with customers, you know, send them marketing initiatives, be operate your business in one place. I think the, the level of satisfaction that we see from people who do that, regardless of platform, it's incredible because suddenly you're going to one place to truly operate your business and say, what is, how is the business looking this week? You know, what kind of payment volume are we doing? How are our customers feeling about the services we're offering? You know, hey, we need to move the needle. Can we send out a campaign about this thing that we're accomplishing? If that's all happening in one space, you start one seeing space. businesses get really creative, get excited, have visibility, and there's less questions and more results. Yeah, I, I totally understand what you're saying. Like personally, so like we, for example, we use HubSpot as our CRM. And I believe you guys have an integration with many CRMs out there in the HVAC space, automotive and all of that, so that these communications can get tired to customer records and then added along as notes with the customer record, right? Exactly. And so it gives the business owner and the people working with the business a lot of peace of mind that, hey, all that data is there. Like those communications, everything we talked about is all in one place. And so nothing is lost mm -hmm. and it really helps streamline the process of moving forward. I want to pivot now and talk to you guys about, you know, what you specifically do at Podium. I know a lot of what we talk about here on the Law of Relevancy is literally like the operations and mechanics of how like different businesses are getting the work done. So specifically, you guys work in the partners division of Podium. So you're working with 
businesses like mine to try to find out, you know, like, and figure out like, how do you find more partners? How do you take care of those partners? How do you um, curate? How do you uh, work with building and, and choosing those right partners that you guys connect with and, and, and really kind of support them? Thomas, do you want to approach that one? Or would I'll, you- I'll start at a high level. Cause so my, my job, right. I'm trying to get people just like cords to say, Hey, podium is a great place for me to operate my business and for my clients to do it. And so what, what we're seeing is agencies in particular, people who are in the operations, like sort of what you said, the people who listen to this, people who are really operating a bit, who are operating multiple businesses. If you're an essential component of how car dealers in some region work or dentists in another or mar- marketing agents are super impactful to that business. And so we think they're the right people to understand what Podium does, start operating their own business through it, and then quickly translate that value to their client. Overall, you know, we see the best results are the people who, who use it. Um, those agencies in particular suddenly know, hey, I'm getting reviews for for my agency and you found me and we're texting right now because of this. Yeah. Suddenly that becomes the, the easiest conversation they've ever had with someone. And, and then we want operators like, you know, like yourself cords and others to be seen as the, the knowledge expert, the star, the innovator, you know, Andrew and I don't want that credit anymore. Podium operated that way for a long time. Now we want you to go to, to your client and say, Hey, I, I got, I'm working with the best people to, you know, get you texting your customers efficiently. Like, let's get it started. That's how, that's how I view a lot of our partnership ecosystem is mostly helping operators of agencies become, you know, be the most innovative agency in your town or region or industry by sort of owning the tool, being being the owner of Podium. Yeah, I mean, you know, in my role more so is actually working with those partners, which, you know, in my role, a lot of those partners are marketing companies, consulting companies um, that are, you know, that are kind of trusted advisors to their clients, right? And they're looking for the best solutions to provide for their clients. And, you know, we obviously always want to solve for issues that our partners are, are facing with their customers, right? And that could be different for different partners and different customers. But, you know, really where we can see ourselves excelling is where if we can layer on solutions that our partners are already trying to help solve for, right? So right. For, for, for agencies that are doing a lot of local search, GLS, SEO, how can Podium help support that, those needs with our review product, right? If, if you're consulting with your customers to help with a payment solution or internal ways of, of kind of workflow you know, using our text message products, using our web chats to gain more leads or, or form fills, different things like that. Of you know, what are they? What are your objectives with your customers, and how can we see Podium kind of helping solve for those? You know, provide those solutions with your services. It, it, that's really where where we find our strongest partnerships is if we can find partners that are looking for a partner like that with us. Yeah, and I think I think what you mentioned. Uh, both of you kind of mentioned it. I think it starts with a, a partner who actually understands the tool, like understands the value. It's beyond just software. It's like, how do you generate revenue for your clients by using it? And then you, and then you support them. You get behind them hundred percent. Absolutely. And, and, you know, obviously, you know, we, we, we like to partner with the best and we like to partner with, you know, partners that are seeing, you know, kind of this vision of, of this kind of, you know, where technology is going, right. It, it, right. It, you know, is it moving towards text? You know, is it, how can we can help consolidate all that communication and obviously make it very easy for you and your clients? Perfect. Well, guys, it's been really informative today to have you on the uh, the show. Um, obviously, you know, there's going to be people who listen to this that are going to want to learn more and follow more uh, about you guys, learn more about Podium. Where can they go to see what Podium is up to in the future and what's next? Yeah, I'd say the best resources are our website has, has plenty on there, especially podium.com slash partners. Um, if you're an operator and working in the agency side, that's a great place to learn. And then our social channels should uh, be updated regularly, easy to follow. There's a lot of people working there to answer questions. So if you have anything come up, you see a phone number, or you just want to put a comment in, put it in, we'll, we'll get in touch with you for Can sure. Can they text you? 
They can text us. Yeah. We, we prefer text. We prefer getting a text to getting an email. I'll just say that. That's awesome. Me too. I like that. Well, guys, thanks again for joining us on the show. And for those of you who are watching, please like, follow, subscribe. You can share this uh, podcast with people on anywhere where podcasts are found. And guys, thanks again for joining us. We'll catch you again on the next Law of Relevancy podcast.